All right, what's up, y'all? So I got a great video for y'all today. And if y'all like tool videos, don't forget to subscribe before we get started. And don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that y'all get notified when I post new tool videos. Also, I'll put links in the description to everything I use in this video so y'all can find it easy and cheap so that you don't have to search all over the place for it. Because some of this stuff can be hard to find, you know, at big box stores, if not impossible. All right, so let's jump right into it. So on the bench, I have an Ingersoll Rand 2235 Ti Max, and it has a standard air fitting on it. And this air fitting is called an M fitting. So here's what it looks like. Everybody knows what it looks like. The most common air fitting. And these air fittings don't flow at all. They don't flow at all for an air tool. They don't provide enough air. So on little blowers and stuff like this, you know, blowers, tire fillers, all this stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter. All right, now if y'all want the absolute best performance out of your air tools, you're gonna want a V-style fitting. This is made by a company called Milton. They make all different types of fittings. There's all different, you know, sizes, shapes, styles. There's the M, which is the most common. There's an I, there's an A, there's a G. Um, there's the V, I think there's a P, but you know, none of that really concerns you. All you really need to worry about, at least with a half inch air tool, um, this V is way, way, way more than enough. So if you look on their website, they list all different kinds of, you know, um, airflow rates in CFM. And CFM is how much air, you know, cubic feet a minute you can get through the fitting. So these are rated at 74 CFM. These, the M, are rated at 40 CFM. So let's get a comparison here. you can see the difference. I mean, you can see straight through that one. And you can see there's way less restriction. So you can see the difference here. And you can see this one, it looks like you could almost go in there if it was just a little bit bigger. But uh, these are the best air fittings, the V styles. So we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna do a comparison here. And you can see I got my new V style fittings here and I got the old one on here, so we're gonna see a before and after. Now, if you're running 3 8 hose, you know, you need to watch your ends. These are quarter inch ends, quarter inch MPT. Um, if you have 3 8 hose and it has 3 8 ends and all that kind of stuff, you need to make sure you get the right ones. They also make them in brass. This is the steel one, and the steel ones are a lot stronger, you know. So I like the steel ones. But let's see what the difference is. It's, it's night and day. Like, I, I'm not exaggerating. You know, I'm not blowing this out of proportion to get views or anything like that. It, it's night and day. I mean, this thing does not run with that air fitting. Now, you're going to have to trust me. The compressor is set at 90 PSI at the fitting. Um, Y'all already know what compressor I got. That's not the issue. It's the fitting. So let's see what we got. And this is going to be loud, but... Bear with me, I'll try to edit it down so it's not as loud. And I have a swivel on here. I know that probably restricts the flow a little bit, but it doesn't matter for what we're about to do. So I got the gun in reverse. Let's see what the difference is. Lucy in my hand. I know this isn't scientific at all, but we're going to put it on a nut and see what it does. Okay, it's it's anemic, trust me. Listen to how it hits. It's turned up all the way. Okay. Now let's see what this thing will do on a nut. All right, so we got our test subject here, and this is just an axle nut on my dirt bike, but I know it's not gonna test, you know, if it can get it off. We all know it can get it off, but it's just to see how hard it hits, how fast, you know, what the tool sounds like, all that kind of stuff. So this is before we change the fitting. 
And I know this isn't an impact socket. Don't kill me in the comments. But it's the best I got. Yeah, it has no power. So this is the strongest half inch impact that Ingersoll Rand makes as of the time of shooting this video. So it's got like something crazy like 1300 foot pounds, you know, in reverse or something like that. It won't even run half, it won't even run. All right, so let's swap this thing out, and I'm gonna give y'all sound one last time. Let's swap it out and see what it sounds like. All right, so we're gonna swap this thing out, and you can see I got my new ones right here, and I got my Teflon tape right here. So we're just gonna take it off. Come on. Now y'all want to make sure there's no Teflon tape down in there and stuff. It looks good, so. The kit that we got here. This is Milton. Oh, there it is. Milton V-Style. And I think the S stands for steel, half inch MPT. You can see what it comes with. I got this off of Amazon. I mean, this was a steal. If you tried to buy them all separately, man, you go broke. This thing, I don't want to say how much it was, but I'll go ahead and say it was like 16 bucks or something on Amazon, you know, at the time of shooting this video and you get all this stuff. So it might change in price. I don't know, but for now, that's what it is. So you can see it comes with two new couplers. Um, female one, another female one, and two males. So you get four couplers and then two ends. So I already ripped it open, I couldn't help myself. So we're gonna need one of those. And we already have, I had that one I bought already. So. Now, another thing that's really important about these fittings that's actually awesome is they're backwards compatible. So you don't have to change everything out. This M fitting, and I think it does an I fitting, plug right in. You don't have to change everything out. So you got a tire filler, right? You just, it, it, I mean, you can, you can change them all out and then you'll get better performance, but it gets to a point, you know, where it doesn't really matter, like a little blow gun or something. Where's my blow gun? A blow gun? It's only shooting air through that. It doesn't matter. So you can see, plugs right in. Then we got our new V, plugs right in. And another thing about this fitting is you see how it's already down? You don't have to pull it back. You just push it in. And then you pull it back and it releases. Push it in. Compared to the old one, this style, these always leak. They're so cheap. And you know, the Harbor Freight ones or wherever you get them, they're so cheap, they leak all the time. So, well, I can't show y'all because it's gonna blast air everywhere. But this one won't go in here. This is the new one, it won't go in. So you do have to change this. But once you change this, it's backwards compatible. So this, 
right? You have to pull it back and then insert it. So it's way better, way, way better. All right, so um, there's white Teflon tape and yellow Teflon tape. Cool kids use yellow Teflon tape because it's made for gas and we're gonna use air. So we're gonna use a yellow one. So I'm gonna get this thing wrapped up and you wanna put it like that so that you're not on the first thread and I just give it like two wraps. Let's count them here. One, two, clockwise, always do it clockwise. So let's get her tightened up. Please don't strip out the bottom of your air tool. Okay, that's changed out. Now I'm going to change the hose end. So here's the hose end. I'm going to have to let the air out, but I'm going to get this changed out. All right, so when y'all do this, please make sure you let all the air out of your line. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Ooh, hold on. So clean up all this old gunk, all this old crap off of here, and then we're gonna rewrap it. All right, something else I wanna show y'all real quick is any other bottlenecks in the system that can cause reduced airflow. You see that little hole in there where the swivel is? That probably reduces the airflow too, but I don't really care at this point. So it's just something to keep in mind. You keep all the bottlenecks down as best as possible. That way you get the highest flow possible. All right, so it's all taped up. Here's our new fitting. We're just gonna screw it in. I'm sure you don't need help tighten fittings up. I mean, come on, really? <clears throat> okay. So that's nice and tight. Are y'all ready for the difference? I'm about to turn the air back on and we're gonna see the difference. Look at that, no leaks. Man, these things, I really do, I really do love these. Okay, here we go. So much better. Wait, I want y'all to hear how this hits. Man, that hurts. I, I'm not playing games here. I didn't I didn't mess with the air compressor. I didn't do any of that. Man, 
That is so much better, y'all. So much better. All right, this thing's a, uh, this is a, it's like a brand new gun. This thing's an animal now. It's like a brand new gun now, y'all. Brand new. Okay, so let's see how it does on the nut on the dirt bike. And it's gonna be insane, I know it is. All right, so we're back on here. This is in reverse. Instantly off. Oh my gosh, I tightened it down. Instantly off. I'm not trying to strip this thing out. It just, just, I don't know how to describe it. Insane. And I know this isn't, you know, scientific with, you know, equipment or anything like that. But y'all gotta trust me, and I'm not trying to mess this thing up. But we'll do it one more. Instantly off. So... Just so y'all can hear it one more time. You see how it hits? And then before it was more labored and anemic, it was like. But now, you know, I know y'all love sound effects, but now it's like. Before it was like, da -da 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 -room. and before I strip this axle out. So, let's get back up to the bench and finish this video up. I'll retorque it later. Alright, y'all. So, I really hope that helps y'all out. Um, these high flow air fittings, they make a world of difference. I have it on my air hammer too. And I mean, this thing is just a beast now. So switch out your air fittings. I mean, I see a lot of guys, you know, they talk about my compressor won't run this, my compressor won't run that, you know. This is meant for an air nailer, like a brad nailer, tire filler, anything like that. That's what you want to use these for. You know, leave it on your nail gun. Don't put it on your impact that needs all that air flowing through here, coming out to generate your power. You know, leave them on the nail guns. That's what they're made for, or an air blower, you know, just the little stuff like that. But change them out to your high-consumption air tools. Uh, die grinder. I don't have a die grinder here, but that thing would probably be a beast with these on it. Well, not this one, the new ones. But I guarantee you, you'll never, ever, ever, ever go back to these low flow air fittings once you make the switch over to the better ones. So, one last thing um, CFM on air tools. This thing uses like 20 CFM at load. So, when the air is flowing through it, it's pulling 20 CFM through the motor, the air motor, whatever you want to call it through the impact is pulling 20 CFM on this model. So yeah, this thing can flow 40 CFMs, but you know, it makes a huge difference. And you'll see a lot of CFM numbers that are like four CFM, six CFM, all that kind of stuff. That's intermittent, so pew, you know, pew, it's an average. So the average over using it, I don't know how they get to these numbers, but they say, oh, 6 CFM, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, that's not at load. When you pull that trigger down and hold it, you know it's flowing a lot more air than that. That's why you want the high flow air fittings. Um, they sell one at Harbor Freight that's a uh, 3 8 inch air fitting, which means the whole style is like 3 8 but it's not really backwards compatible. And I know Husky makes one too, but they're not really backwards compatible like this one. This is the best I mean they're the best and they don't leak so don't go with the cheap Harbor Freight uh, Husky ones get the Milton ones once and be done with it so let me know in the comments what y'all think 
you know, high flow air fittings? Uh, do y'all got them? Uh, have you switched over and you know, let me know the before and after because it's crazy. It really is. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I really hope this helps some of y'all out, you know, if your impact isn't running how it should be. And this ought to help you get more work done faster, better, you know, make your air tools do what they're supposed to do. So if y'all like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below for more automotive and tool related videos. And don't forget to hit that little bell while you're at it so y'all can get notified when I post new videos. I got plenty more coming. And don't forget to check out the links in the description because I'll link y'all up to, you know, these because they're impossible to find at big box stores. Northern sells them, but, you know, it's going to be way more expensive than Amazon, what I'm going to link y'all to. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and let me know the night and day differences y'all seen if y'all got high flow air fittings. Later.